Sanam's Kitchen. Today's recipe is methi gota but without using methi leaves or fenugreek leaves. This recipe is perfect for methi is not available due to the season or people who live abroad like where these are rarely available. Still you can satisfy your cravings with this recipe. So let's get started. We need uh, one and a half cup of coarse chickpea flour, two and a half cups of chopped coriander, green chilies chopped as per your taste, crushed black peppercorn, crushed coriander, carom seeds or ajwain, sugar it's optional, and the star in ingredient in this recipe is this fenugreek or methi seeds that is grinded to a powder. And this seeds looks like this and I just put it in the grinder and make the powder. Also a baking soda. Esophytida powder or a hing. Salt to taste. And we need some water to make the batter and oil to fry. We're going to start uh, with a quarter cup of water. And we are going to mix all these spices like green chilies, peppercorn, crushed coriander, ajwain, sugar, methi powder or fenugreek powder, baking soda, and salt to taste. Now whisk all these ingredients and this will make the batter fluffy. Add chopped coriander or cilantro and the chickpea flour. Now if you don't have a coarse chickpea flour, you can also use a regular chickpea flour which is called basin and just add semolina. Just take half and half. We want to make a batter that is not too runny and not too stiff as well. So it should hold a shape. We are going to roll into a small ball size. And I have a oil heating up here. And when the oil is ready, I'm going to test it out. And it's ready. And I'm going to fry the methi gota until it's nice and golden color. Make sure you fry this on the medium flame for at least 3 to 4 minutes so it's nicely cooked from inside. So here the methi gota is ready and I've taken out on a paper towel to drain excess oil. And here you can see nice golden color that it has. Uh, the coriander leaves uh, looks like methi leaves and the flavor is amazing. When you try it, you won't make a difference whether you are eating uh, this methi gota without methi. And let's check this out. And this is, wow, look at this. It's steaming hot inside and it is perfectly cooked. So I hope you try this recipe. Enjoy this hot and delicious gota with masala tea or your favorite chutneys. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.